I know you've heard a little bit about selecting healthy foods as well as preparing healthy foods, but how about when it comes time to shop for those foods? Well, here are a couple tips. First, buy in bulk for the right items. When your favorite toilet paper or paper towel goes on sale, make sure you buy bulk quantities of that. That's gonna be a real cost savings for you. Also buy bulk when it comes to your grains and your beans, other things that won't spoil immediately. It also works for pastas and certain nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds you wanna make sure you definitely store in an airtight container so that they don't go rancid on you. When it comes to shopping your farmer's market, this is a way that you can really save some money. Buy what is in season and is probably less expensive than what you would pay for it at the grocery store from your farmer's market, bring it home and throw it in the freezer. It's been proven that fruits and vegetables lose no nutritional value when they're frozen. So it's okay to go ahead and buy extra amounts of blueberries when they're ripe and in season. They're so delicious and they're way less expensive at that moment than they will be six months from now if you try to buy them from the grocery store. Same thing for things like winter squash and pumpkin. When you go to the grocery store, shop the perimeter of the store first. Here's why, all of those freshest, healthiest for you foods are around the outside of the store. Think about it, the produce department, the dairy case, the deli meats, they're always around the outside of the store. So shop that area first and then go to those interior aisles where you will find more of the packaged prepared foods. Then, when it comes to your packaged foods, this is a great place to shop Thrive Market where everything will always be 25 to 50% less than what you would pay in the supermarket. So a great time to hit up Thrive Market is for things like your pastas, your rice, even your oils and your baking mixes, your spices, different things like that. Then, before you even go to the grocery store, do a little meal planning and make your list. If you go into the store without a list, you are most likely going to have a couple impulse buys. That wastes money and it also is a little bit risky when it comes to eating your healthiest food. So make sure you make your list. And when it comes to your fresh food items, make sure you're shopping often enough. Every other week or even once a week is probably not often enough when it comes to those produce and other fresh food items. Really get in the habit of hitting the grocery store every couple days so that you eat up your fresh food items and then you go shopping for more and you don't end up wasting as much. There's a whole separate video on that. Make sure you check that one out. Because remember, this is not just about saving you time or energy. It's also about doing this new healthy lifestyle on a budget. So it's about saving you money, but mostly about shopping for you and your family's health.